Guten Morgen, guten Tag, guten Abend, guten Nacht, wie geht's? Hi everybody, I am Paul Shellbetter, sometimes called Uncle Squinty, with a review that is way long overdue. We're taking a look today at the third of the Rosinski Schmalzers that uh, I should have tried really at Christmas time, because to me this, this Schmalzer speaks of Christmas. This is the Rosinski Oderlander. Now, I have already reviewed the Dijkskraf, which I loved, the Frankfurter, which I loved equally. High quality products, brilliant tobacco. You know, Rene Rosinski is not just a snuff artisan, but he cultivates tobacco. And he has a very, very, very deep knowledge of all the different strains of tobacco that can be grown in Germany and places close to it in particular very well informed about tobacco. I should interview him sometime. I suspect he might even have a chemistry background or a culinary background or a maybe horticulture background. And never forget, you can lead a horticulture, but you can't make her think. Thank you, Dorothy Parker. Um, this smells kind of boozy. Yeah, there, there's almost a little alcohol to this. It smells fruity. And I can't identify the fruit. Melon almost. It's almost got sort of a melon scent to it, like a cantaloupe. No, more like a honeydew, a green melon. It smells marvelous. This is gorgeous. Now, fortunately, I did not have trouble opening this envelope. Um, often I have to use the scissors, but this one worked just fine with a tear strip. So I did that. You know, stick my fingers right in it. My hands are clean. I just used some sanitizer. Got snuff in my under my fingernail, I think, but my hands are pretty clean. So we're going to pinch it right out. The grind is medium, and I would rate the moisture as medium to high. It's better than average moisture. It does pill up into a little prilla between my thumb and forefinger here. I think this is going to be ma magical. I really do. Now, I did not go on Mr. Snuff or Artisan Snuff or Rosinski's own website to look up about the, you know, the components of this tobacco. But I have a feeling, because it is a snuff from Rosinski, that it's going to have an excellent tobacco base, probably made with a tobacco that you would not be able to find in North America, for instance. You know, that's one thing that Rene Rosinski does that I truly respect is that he uses some pretty rare cultivars of tobacco, different strains of tobacco. Yeah, you could say, well, this is a burley. Yeah, it probably is a burley. But it's been grown, for instance, in Germany or Poland or something. It's uh, a, different, a different vibe. Just as you have different kinds of grapes and make different wines from them, but they all grow in the same place, and they're all basically the same genus and species. Tobacco has various strains, varieties. And Rosinski seems to have the knack of being able to just find the perfect blend and treat the tobacco perfectly. This does use a fermented tobacco, I can tell. The tobacco has been cured. This is not a green or a frost green snuff. This is a brown snuff. Um, but let's let's give it a pinch and see what we've got going here. Ein Prosit. Oh, ich schon Sie mir bitte. Yeah, there's just a little bit of that pepper that I've come to associate with some of Rosinski's tobaccos. Just a little tiny bit of pepper. Right on the first blush. Easy to sniff, guys. Super easy to sniff. It may be a little more coarse even than medium, but not much. Um, this is not going to be a tough sniff for anybody. And if you have problems with dry snuffs, you know, going back into your lungs or whatever, this ain't one of those. This is a Schmalzler. It's nicely oiled. Yeah, there's just that little peppery edge. There's fruit and booze. And I don't think that there's added liquor to this. I believe there is not. I believe it's just the fermented tobacco I'm smelling. Which, by the way, underneath everything is really, really nice. 
Yeah, I think I saved the best of his three Schmalzlers for last. I already did the Dijkscroft and the Frankfurter on videos over the last month or so here. Oh, wow! Oh, this is good! This is so good! I gotta do some more. Call me crazy! But I gotta use some more of this delicious stuff. This is so good. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Throat drip so far is nothing. I have to work for it, but it's very pleasant and it's very neutral. I'm not getting a lot of forward drip either. Again, an easy sniff, right? I, I like boxcarring this. I like to spread it out so it can, on my thumbnail, so it can more easily coat the inside of my nasal passages, get a little more aroma that way, get a little more nicotine. I'm getting snuff all over me. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ich bin ein Berliner. Ich bin ein Futzelecker. All right. Wow. I can't say enough good stuff. It's falling out of my face. I really can't say enough good things about this. This is truly spectacular. Yeah, obviously, I'm going to give it a five out of five on the squinty scale, where one is this good thing, and five is these girls. Nicotine. Let's talk a little bit about it. Nicotine's good. I don't think it's over the top. It's not a blowtorch. Yeah, but it's good. Uh, on my subjective scale, where one would be no perceptible nicotine and 10 is potentially dangerous, you get the spins and whatever, this is a 6. And remember, I've got a really high tolerance for nicotine. Oh, by the way, you like the shirt? Shall it be hijinks or shenanigans today? Well, I'm voting for hijinks. We like hijinks. Shenanigans is kind of evil to other people, but hijinks is just silly fun, and I'm good with silly fun. So yeah, moderate to slightly higher than moderate nicotine. Ease of sniffing is high. Uh, th the throat drip, which I call back drip, is not confrontational. Is actually kind of salty sweet. Not bad at all. Not a lot of forward drip. Um, just a wonderful snuff. Yeah, I think of the three Rosinski Schmalzlers that I've now, re now reviewed, this is probably... Well, yeah, it's definitely my favorite of the three. And understand, I gave five out of fives to the other two as well. This might be a six out of five. This is truly tremendous. And I hope you can get yourself some. I got this one from artisansnuff.com. That is a sister company of tokesnuff.com. Uh, but you can also get Rosinski Snuffs, of course, from the Mr. Snuff Empire and if you are brave and happy and would like to save a pile of money, you can go directly to Rosinski's own web shop, where this is much cheaper. Um, I just ordered this from Artisan because I ordered a bunch of snuff all at the same time. So, from a variety of snuff makers. So, so super delicious. Wow, what can I say? Rosinski's Orderlander. Do you know where the Oder River is? The Oder River actually kind of runs all through Europe. I believe that it even runs down, you know, through Denmark. Uh, it's a long river, and this is made with tobacco that is cultivated along the Oder River. I hope I'm saying that right. Oder, Oder, something. Oh, by the way, it makes a wonderful accompaniment to black coffee. Uh, it's just the right... Just the right balance of stuff. Yeah, this is one I'm going to probably sniff until I get to the bottom of the packet. Uh, just truly great. Uh, by the way, I want to clear up something. I was not really accused, but someone said, well, yeah, you know, of course you give all these snuffs high ratings because you're getting them for free. No, I'm really not. I pay the same price for snuff that you do. I pay the same high shipping. You know, if I review a snuff for you, it's typically not one that has been given to me unless it's been given to me by another hobbyist. But the, the snuff mills, you know, Toke isn't giving me free snuff any more than they would you. Uh, and nobody else does either. So I paid retail for this. I paid the Artisan Snuff price, which is frankly a lot better than the Mr. Snuff price, but not as good as Rosinski's price. But yeah, I, I bought this, and I do all my snuffs. So 
let's not start with that nonsense about, oh, yeah, you can't really be a good snuff reviewer because everybody's giving you the snuff. No, they don't. I wish. I wish they did. It's like, yeah, send me free snuff all day long. But nobody does, except other hobbyists, of course. Coming up next on the Paul Schalbetter YouTube Nasal Snuff channel, we're going to be taking a look at Falser Snuff. It's a new one for me. I've never tried it. Uh, I think it's going to be really interesting, so I hope you stay tuned for that. Now, once again, I'd like to remind my viewers that shortly I will be embarking on my journey to save my eyesight or to restore my eyesight. I am a guinea pig. I've been selected as a guinea pig, a human guinea pig, for human trials of a genetic treatment that could restore the function of one of my retinas. They will only do it in one eye. Uh, I will choose the weaker of the two eyes, which is my left, and we'll see. You know, I could re re regain 10% of my original eyesight, maybe better. I could get maybe 40%. Uh, I will not have normal vision. They're not promising that. They don't expect that. But one never knows. So I'm not going to be as consistent, and I'm not very consistent anyway. I'm not going to be consistent in uploading new content. But I hope you'll hang with me. Don't abandon the channel. I am still here. I still love you. I want to be your snuff buddy from now until the end of the world as we know it. So please stay tuned to this channel. Lots more nasal snuff reviews and news to come. Now, if... If you have not subscribed, and if you haven't, why the hell not? It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. I don't run commercials. I, there's no ads on my channel. Hopefully the content is inter interesting enough to keep coming back to. Subscribe. It's easy. Just hit the subscribe button. No problem. If you are subscribed, also be sure to hit the notification bell. That way, YouTube might or might not let you know when I upload new content. Uh, hitting the like button, contrary to what A. Schmeck Tabak declared, uh, another viewer and a snuff reviewer himself, uh, when he said, oh, the algorithm has nothing to do... No, it does. The more likes, as I understand it, the more likes the video has, the more likely it is that my videos will be recommended to any non-subscriber who does a search, for instance, for nasal snuff or snuff on Google or on YouTube itself. So it's really good to hit the like button, even if you don't really like me all that much. Smack that like button. And most importantly, please write a comment, even if it's a nasty one. I've gotten a couple of nasty ones recently, which are fine. Not about my eyesight either or anything. Just like, you know, why did it take you 45 minutes to say that it's a good snuff? Or the other one I get is, well, if you remember, uh, you said something about Toke's quit uh, base, but it wasn't really precise, and you'd already talked about it before, and remember that new people come to your channel all the time, so saying that you've already done a review or whatever, you know, makes you sound like a dick. But it's a fact. I, you know, a lot of times people ask me about snuffs that I've already reviewed, uh, I have now done a, an introduction to snuff taking video twice, and I have uh, talked a bit, bit about dry snuffs and how to uh, insufflate them uh, three times now. I'm aware that new people come to the channel all the time, and you are welcome, and I appreciate it. But you know, somebody felt compelled. You're just you're just a mean guy, whatever. So go ahead and comment, even if you want to rip me a new one. I'm a big boy. I got my big person pants on, and I can take it. I got my flame-proof underwear on, so have at it, man. You want to call me a dickhead? Feel free. I think it's actually kind of entertaining when that happens. Uh, what else is coming up on the channel? Well, you will be surprised, maybe. Um, oh, uh, there's, this is important. I was not expecting to have the opportunity to participate in this genetic study for the treatment of my eyes. That came up fairly recently. So there will not be either a January, February, or March giveaway. Sorry, I know you guys look forward to my giveaways. I have, over the years, have given away a lot of snuff, brand new pipes, pipe tobaccos, 
and the like, cigars. Uh, but there will be, I promise, we're going to celebrate the memory of uh, my late parents in April uh, and April Fool's Day as well by having an April giveaway. Uh, but until then, there won't be any giveaways, I'm sorry. However, if you want to trade snuffs with me, uh, request a sample. I think we're kind of past COVID now. I don't feel so bad about sending out open tins. Um, you can always write me at unclesquinty at gmail.com. I will not be able to honor all or every request, but I will do my best for you because I'd like you to enjoy snuff as much as I do. Most importantly, and this is how I will close this video, please always remember that these videos are intended for viewing by adults of legal age to purchase and consume tobacco in their area of residence. Secondly, I do not intend to promote the use of any tobacco product. I comment on and review products that are currently available in the free market. Thirdly, I will say this again, and I always do, even though I do believe that snuff carries fewer health risks than other forms of tobacco, all tobacco risk uh, products carry a degree of risk, and you should be aware of those risks before you use tobacco. For that reason, I would strongly suggest that if you don't use tobacco and have never used tobacco, please don't start. You know, you don't need, you don't, do you need another vice? I know you got your vices already, Pally. You're not fooling anybody. But you don't need another vice, so maybe leave the tobacco alone. That's about it. Thank you very, very much for watching, as always. I wish you blessings from the universe. May everything fall into place for you the rest of this weekend. And have a wonderful work week yet to come. We'll be back soon with a review of the Falzer.